Hi folks, glad you could join me again. I'm Stephen Crowley. Welcome to another watercolour demo. Um, many thanks to all the patrons over at patreon.com slash Stephen Crowley. If you get a chance to join me over there, you're more than welcome. You see the link in the description, loads of videos over there. Um, today I've got a, a sort of mountain side scene. With, it's got, I tried to get the impression of the sun just sort of popping its head over the distant mountains which sort of merge into grass and then a few little rocks here in the foreground. Um, I think this one was better. I did give it a, a sort of spray halfway through just to try and loosen it all up which I think helps with the finished result. So let me show you the colours I've used for this. So the palette I use the ultramarine, lemon yellow, alizarin crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. And the brushes, we've got the large run ransom hike and just a number three rig, just the two brushes. So I'm going to start off with a bit of raw sienna light red. And a bit of lemon yellow in the same mix. Then a bit of blue. In fact, let's clean the brush first and then go into the blue. Brush down across the top. Just catching where the paint's coming down. And then what I'm going to do is keep an eye on that water, the um, paint coming down the paper, getting ready to catch any big drips. And then just, I'm going to go into the same colours but make a sort of darker mix out of it. Lots of blue. A few distant peaks. Soften some of them off a little bit. Using a clean damp brush here and there, just taking away some of that, some of that paint just to soften it all off. And I'm going to go back into these colours, all the colours, but plenty of red and lots of blue. And we have another sort of layer, layer of hills. Something just below halfway. Strengthen these hills down here. Right then, now in front of those, coming further forward, I'm giving you some lemon yellow, we're getting some bright greens now. Sort of starting off there. Sort of just blending into those distant mountains. So a bit close to the foreground. And I'm getting some alizarin crimson. Some nice massive crimson flowers and things. Just going to brush them in. Sort of one mass back into the yellow. Let's clean the brush. Nothing now. 
a little bit, I think. Just bring that down. Something like that. Let's get this flat against the board. And what I'm going to do is some dark colour again. Bit of red, bit of blue. And I'm just going to strengthen some of these. Just needs to be a little bit stronger. In the brush, I'm going to go back into that yellow. A bit more grass there now. Ultramarine, just vary that green slightly. In the brush, and I want a bit of crimson, just taking a bit of straight crimson, and these are just, just, just sort of flowers on mass, just bright bits of crimson flowers here and there. Let's clean that brush. And coming down into the foreground area. I want to change it again. I'm thinking raw sienna with a bit of ultramarine. And it's a bit muddy that is. Let's just go ultramarine. Burnt umber in there. I'm going to have a bit, just the odd scrape here and there, so it's got like a big box there. Give that a quick, a quick dry. Let's just make sure that's dry for the flat first. Right, so just give it a quick dry. I'm just going to spray a bit of water on it now.
a little bit of cloud out around the base, create a sort of light area on top of those mountains. Soften some of that off. It's just crimson and, and ultramarine now, just get some, some darker bits in there. Make sure it's flat. Bit more yellow in these areas. The contrast a bit better. Painting around some of these um, highlights I've done with the rocks. It's starting to rain. I hope you can hear me okay. It's just, it's just raining there. I have a few little blue shadowy sections. So these are sort of doubling up the shadows as well. Just underneath these crimson areas. Crimson and blue. I'm making me that's what I'm making me dark, so I'm just crimson and blue. dark foreground. Just straight light red in there as well. Light red, ultramarine. Just bring this up a little bit higher. Doing a few dabs here, these are more distant, just tufts of grass and things growing. I don't want to get too, too mad with it. It's tempting to scrape a few more rocks in, but I think it's always best left subtle. All that's left to do now, I just want to give the impression of a sort of sun. 
I think that's still wet actually. Um, uh, I'm just going to use a, a rigger brush, just a damp clean rigger brush and just uh, just circular, all I'm doing, I'm just loosening the pines, just roughly circular. Just give the impression of something, well I say something, it's the, it's the sun in it, um, just coming over the horizon. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. Not, not bigger, a bit more prominent, so I'm just taking a bit more pines off. Make it just look a bit more obviously like the sun. So all I've done, I'll just give it a quick dry and I think I'm fairly happy with that now. I'm going to call that one. Pull that one done, I think. I'm just going to sign it. Right, let's stick a mount on it now and see what it looks like. So here's our finished painting. We're going to have a closer look at it. I think it might have worked better if, if I darkened, if you are painting along, just try and darken these mountain peaks here a little bit. Not the distant ones. But these ones there, I think you get more sort of light effect from it. Um, I think it definitely helps when I re-wet it. I'll get a lot more softer, blended edges. You can see the sort of sun coming over the, the, the mountains there and all these sort of soft edges there. Lots of sort of, sort of mixing, merging together. One misty sort of effect, which is what I was trying to achieve. It was, it was just too rigid before. So those mountains that then sort of merge into the, the grass sections and then got, they've got just masses of crimson flowers just painted on mass. And then I did a lot more scraping than this but painted over most of it as, as often is best. Well, everything in moderation and, and rocks I tend to overdo them, but just got a tiny little group here which I think looks it looks better rather than overworking the foreground. I mean, just a few dabs with a with the hate brush just suggests like little tufts of, of grass and dark sections here and there, tonal variation. So that for the, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks as always for watching. Um, if, you, if you get the chance to join me over at patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin, you're all more than welcome. Over 200 videos on there, plus you can post your own paintings on the community page and share feedback with everyone. So. Till next time, keep practicing. Got any questions, please ask, and I'll see you in soon.